You're just a hater. You're just. You're absolutely right. <laughs> you're just I, a I, hater. I have, there's no denying that. I am an absolute hater. That is, it's in my blood, dude. It courses through my veins. Alright, <laughs> Tweak, keep him with the Diddy. Yeah, I think he's committed to really going all Diddy at this event. Like I said earlier, you know, this is really the, the proving ground for Diddy. Of course, it being Kongo Saga, I can't think of a better stage for it. Or a pre Kongo Saga. Absolutely. And Gluto has not seen this Diddy already. Uh, Tweak took out uh, Quick to yes. get here, or to get to uh, winner's finals. And MK Leo Gluto happened on the other side, so. This would be a first for Gluto seeing this Diddy Kong. This would be a first for Tweak dealing with this Wario. This is definitely one of those matchups where, uh, you know, both these characters. Well, the thing is that Diddy really wants to scrap in order to. Ooh, I don't know why he pressed the Peanut Gun there. Both these characters want to scrap, but, like, Wario just has, like, such better scrapping options. Yeah, I feel like the combo game is kind of. He, like, out combos, out maneuvers Diddy. Which really was, you know, the key points to Diddy. Yeah, and the onus is on Tweak to approach too because of the walk, right? So Tweak is like, you know, in most cases, the one who has to take initiative. Even right there, we saw a down tilt and then Tweak started to set up for the down air to really follow up and end that stock, even though that uh, Glennon was at a mid percent. But immediate a beat was able to stuff it out. Yeah, on stage though, he'll be able to get something off of that. Ooh, not able to get the fair off the banana. Down tilt train. Coming through. Bluto. Still hanging on to this first stock. Mike is back there's the down tilt in the up. Bringing out the banana. Okay, good timing. Making sure the banana landed right when the invulnerability ended. Looking to pick up the banana, not able to. Tweak getting some good percent on the stock. He really shouldn't be alive right now. Like anything that Tweak get, gets right now is pretty gravy. There's going to be the stock for Luto. Down tilt yeah. to dash attack, even from across stage. That's a good kill for him to have. Yeah, considering the deficit, Tweak I think is okay with that. Side B beats his side B. I believe he still He's has Watt online, doesn't he? Uh, no, he. But he Used it a little bit earlier, um, but he might get close to a half off right now. That little animation right there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the sign. But good aggression coming out from Tweak. He just hoo hawed him. Yeah, just hoo hawed. That's, that's a thing? I don't know if that's a thing. I think it was a DI mix up. Either way, uh, he, I don't think he has. He might get close to half off right now, because sometimes it's hard to differentiate the animation of Wario gaining waft with Wario getting the bike back, just because it looks really similar. And I think that he doesn't have half-wop just yet. Yeah, the cross-up back airs from both players. Not really landing. Everyone's kind of taking each other's shield, but only able to make it back. Another falling back air. Good turnaround grab. Ooh. Oh, up throw, up air. Okay, so now he's got the wop. Wow. Let's just let it rip. Damn. Tweak brought that way, way, way back, yeah. though. That was, like, even game, so really impressive that, that he was able to adapt that really that well. Uh, Gluto just kind of... Tweak wasn't ready for the waft there. Who wafts there? And Gluto, specifically, you don't see him waft there very often. You know, he, I mean, for him to, like, use raw waft he's in been, general... Yeah, I feel like he's been committing the waft on reads a lot this tournament. So, very interesting to see that change in play style from him. We'll see if he, that continues into the bracket, or into this set. This Gluto is up 1-0 against Tweak. Going right back to PS2. Yeah, he got a lot good of... command grab. He got a lot off of that. I feel like he shouldn't get that much off. I feel like Tweak didn't match or something like that. Weird. I feel like Gluto actually matched. Boom. Oh, didn't get the full hop on the second up air. Still keeping this advantage. Overcommits with the F smash. Tweak just throwing him. Chuck him. Not able to convert to a grab. Ooh. He didn't want to bite. He didn't want to bite the bike there. That was not what he intended at all. No, he was trying to command grab the shield for sure. But unfortunate misspacing from Gluten, and that's gonna put a good amount of damage on him. Kind of unfortunate, but I feel like he's only really one forward air or an air away.
We've got the advantage. There's the up smash out of shield. So, so quick. Apparently, according to Broncopolis, I learned this today, that is the fastest up smash out of shield in the entire game. Frame five or something like that. That's pretty crazy. Falling, command grab. Being able to have your mouth open like that and having an active, like, grab animation yeah. as you fall is pretty, pretty good. That was kind of a nice bait with the banana, just throwing it out there saying, like, please come grab this, and then gets a whole bunch of percent off of it. Uh-oh. Wow. He had the bike. If he didn't have the bike, it was over. Yeah. He ate the banana! That's, <laughs> that's actually crazy defense. That's, if, if that wasn't intentional, that's something Geek, I'm sure, is definitely keeping a mental oh, note about. Oh, absolutely. Gonna abuse that later on, but good up. Another up air, but a falling from there. It's gonna allow Tweak to recover back to stage. Yeah. Joe has now got that waft ready to go. Waft wow. the top. Again, we kind of thrown out the banana right at the start. Just looking for Pluto to go grab it and then tries to punish him for it. That time, Pluto was just a little bit more privy, ready for it. Didn't quite allow Tweak to do it, but Tweak doing a great job of keeping advantage right now. He's just got to steal out this stock. There's going to be a down tilt bear. Even covering like the jump option by throwing the, ba the bike up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was so, really, really good coverage. Yeah, good amount of coverage from Tweak. From the command, uh, reverse command grab from Pluto. Just continuing to apply pressure, even getting a jab reset. Yeah, man. What's up? Pluto starting to run away with this one. What's going on? The boys are here. Hold the on. boys are the back. Boys are here. All right. Well, another Nair. That's going to allow Pluto to get back to stage. He's falling Nair's been tweaked. He's playing so much yeah, mileage. He just, just positioning. Yeah, exactly. It's the predictive positioning, right? Like, he's already there waiting. And what? <laughs> what? That How did that so even work? That was so weird, bro. What the hell was that? That's great. Oh, man, Gluto up 2-0 on Tweak's Diddy here. Tweak's keeping it close. That game a little bit less so, but still. I mean, Gluto's Wario, man. This guy's good. He doesn't joke around. True, but Tweak still sticking it out with Diddy Kong, even though he is down 2-0, committing to Diddy Kong for tonight. Yeah, man. You gotta, you gotta clap it up a little bit, you know? That takes a, a strong man to commit to a character that you're still unsure about. Principle, really. A, a, guy, a guy after my own heart, I'd say. Okay, well, let's see how game three is gonna go still. I probably would've, like, changed the stage at least. Blue has been really abusing these platforms. Yeah, I, I'm surprised. But I think this is more of like a tweak trying to work out the matchup with as little variation as possible. That's true. Wow. All of that just happened. He tried to bike at him. Are we not going to say anything about that? Well, I think we just did. All right, well, I tried. <laughs> up smash out of shield for Luto. Going to punish that over commitment. Up on the platform for tweak, tweak. It's kind of felt like he's in control for a lot of this, but Luto just piling on a little bit more percent than him, and suddenly able to take a stock of the up smash. Yeah, but 85% is nothing to laugh at for, for Tweak. 106%, you know Tweak's going to be looking for the down tilt and converting into up smash. Yeah. Putting yeah. banana at the ledge. Okay, yes. banana into up smash. Yeah, the classic. The slight dash forward is really important to the timing there as well. And it, 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 as it pushes forward, sure, but it's really, really important as far as the timing goes for getting that forward smash to connect. And look at the speed that we're seeing, like, Tweet starting to play at. He's starting to actually keep up with Gluttony in terms of, like, input that we're seeing, even the way that he's moving around Gluttony. Yeah, the idea is that Gluttony likes to play really slow, right? Because he's got the walk. He might as well take the time that it, you know, takes to charge it, uh, and make sure that, oh, he gets as many walks as possible per game, right? And so you see Gluttony kind of running away a lot of the time, even when he doesn't have the lead. And so, the, like I said, the onus is on Tweak to approach. And so Tweak is kind of doing a better job this game of forcing Gluto to play at that pace, but Gluto's still able to take stock lead with that walk. It's just such an important part. Oh, he might have been able to get an upper there. Definitely wouldn't have killed, but something bigger would have, and that forward smash will kill. Tweak evening this up. There's no walk online for a little bit. That's right, no walk online because the walk did get used a little bit earlier in the game. This is really going to be the, mo the moment where Tweak's going to make something happen. And he's still got like at least another 30 seconds before that half walk comes out. 
good double back here, and we're seeing like about even percents. Good tweak, able to bring this game close to even. Okay. Okay, falling there. And look at that. Gleam was actually hanging out below the platform. Kind of realizing that Tweak is falling with that Nair and trying to like either getting some type of exchange or even a reversal. It's pretty safe. There's not a whole lot that Gloomy can do. It's just about the positioning, right? Making sure that you're not in a position to get hit by that in the first place. I don't think Tweak wanted to land the bike right there. You did not want to pick it up, and that really put him in a vulnerable state. And now, because he had the bike, he got